guys, this is your friend and pal, Bruce and Rubber Ducky, with a video for y'all. Uh, basically, this video is kind of about somebody I met, met, pardon, I met in the brawling hall. He's kind of trash-talking me, um, before we met, uh, he's saying, hey, so what's your rank? And I was telling him what my rank was, and I was saying it was higher. He's like, you don't really deserve that rank, and, uh, I could just wreck you. I'm like, oh, that's what every swashbuckler thinks, just because they have black fog, and it's like, well, black fog requires more skill than shielding and, and, uh, and, and healing and bombs, and I'm like, I don't get it, it's like, you have to actually do a solid attack or something stupid like that, like, this kid is obviously a little bit dumb as far as this game goes, um, it's like, he's, he's telling me how he beat, beats privateers all the time, and about how it's such a worthless class, and I'm going to show you what it certainly is not, and he's asking me if I record this, um, yeah, of course I, I'm recording this, so um, that's making him happy because he thinks he's going to beat me. And he's saying he beats summon spams and all types of things. Oh boy, is he in for a surprise? Well, sir, I have more than all those. I have skill. And you did not spread like the first turn, and if you don't hurry up, I'm going to just win. He's like. Privateers, he's, he's saying that, uh, that the, the privateers are um, mojo bags and stuff like that. I'm like, that is absolutely not true. I mean, I beat so many privateers on my squash buckler, it's not even funny. So. <laughs> he's complaining because bombs have unlimited range. All the stupidest things. What would be the. The bombs are like one of the weakest attacks in this game. Like, if they didn't have limited range. Range. What the heck? What the heck? Besides, in this game, it's like. <laughs> I mean, they nerfed they nerfed privateers a lot. But yeah, there are ways to still play privateer pretty well. <laughs> I'm telling you about my squash bucket because he doesn't believe what I'm saying about squash bucket. He says, "I bet he can't beat me." I'm telling him he's champing. <laughs> I'm saying, Abe doesn't lie. He's like, and he's and he's like, um, <laughs> he's like, Abe, Abe was a liar. <laughs> no. And he's like, I could beat your companions. <laughs> Quite a noob. See, he runs right into my rat beard's reduce, which is death to any Toro or any swashbuckler who does that against a rat beard. Um, experienced players should know that. Okay. He's like, I, he's like, I could, I could beat you if it weren't for your companions, and I'm challenging him to a one versus one in the sparring chamber with no companions, and he's refusing. So this guy is clearly just kind of full of it a little bit. And of course, he runs right into my rat beard and gets reduced as far as. Okay, well, he doesn't get reduced there. He's got a little lucky there, but still. Okay, there you go. I mean, if he was smart, I don't know about this, but I would most likely use Bonnie unless I was facing other squash bucklers. Here we go, the reduce. I actually didn't have Moomin choose coat for the longest time in a while. Um but I tried it out recently and it's, it's alright. I, I didn't need Moomin choose coat to beat most of these guys. But I had it on when I was here, so why not? I mean, less armor and less heal, less bombs, and those guys who reduce uh, accuracy, which is just something extra. If you can use it right, then it's useful. If you can't, then it's better just to have the other coat. <laughs> he's asking if I'm going to post this one, and he's like, oh yeah, you should post this one. I'm like, I probably won't because this is too easy. But I changed my mind at the end. I told him so, and, well, Basically, this is just so entertaining because he's getting so salty about it. <laughs> if y'all pay attention to the comments, y'all can rewind to 
so you can capture all of them if you want. Um, he's like, come and get me. I'm like, I only have a staff, okay? The whole point of privateer is not so that you're, so that you're the melee, uh, you're not the person for melee. And if you have shields in this game, you should use it, okay? Um, I mean, if you attack with a shield, it's only about brute force, and there were only like, if, if it were not for shielding, bucket, buccaneers would probably be the best, the best class to play, possibly, maybe, which, I don't know, I don't know, but the game would just be messed up, and, well, there'd be less strategy in it. <clears throat> not like it's already bad enough. <laughs> He's complaining about my rap beard, because it holds the line. <laughs> He ran right into it. He totally ignored this guy's like totally oblivious of everything. And that's the reason why he's losing. And there his dodge is reduced because he ran into my rat beard. <laughs> uh, and he's still complaining. He's still sore about that. <laughs> okay, there you go. He hides. Fair enough. I certainly will fight your butt. <laughs> so I'm telling you to stop complaining because like the best players in ranked PvP are Smosh Bugglers. And now he's finally admitting that privateers are better. <laughs> he's, like, he, he's still wanting to challenge my me on his pocket here. I'm like, I play every class. You name a class, I play it. I play it and I can beat you on it. And like, I doubt that. No, I, no, I definitely don't doubt that, considering that I'm going to flawless you in a second. And he's like, yeah, well, I know you're going to heal, and he just, uh, he just used Assassin Shroud on me, so, like, can I really heal? <laughs> this guy, I swear. And he's like, well, shield. And I said, what's Privateer supposed to do? Like, Assassin Strike is, like, the most OP thing under Fog. If you didn't have a shield, what would you do? So anyway, this guy got sore throughout the whole match. You can like read the whole conversation. It's pretty entertaining if you want. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope that well that was a little easy as a flawless, but uh, I hope that was still entertaining for y'all. Please smack that like button. It means a million to me. I always like to get that like button. If every YouTuber does, it means it means thank you for making this video. Every everyone likes that. Anyway. Guys, I will see you in the next video. That is it, and peace out.